When in doubt, crystal it out. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday! So it is crystal of the week. For my crystals that are new and don't know where these derive from, they come from our earth and how these beautiful, gorgeous, different gemstones, stones, rocks, gems, crystals, whatever you want to call them, how they are created are from different pressures in the earth and then all different types of minerals create this one big massive quartz. Each mineral that is combined with certain pressure creates a different energy that have healing properties. So they really help us mentally, spiritually, and physically in our day-to-day -day lives. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can incorporate rose quartz into your daily life routine. Come, come. Crystals are great for making big decisions and for big changes in your life, so that's why I really want to share this one because this is easily attainable and it's not as rare. This one you can get at your local crystal shop or any type of, um, even like sometimes Pear One or TJ Maxx have uh, rose quartz because it's so popular. Rose quartz is great for um, breakups, friendships, different career paths, um, emotional healing, physical healing, so I'm excited because I'm about to show you and share the love. This is great because it banishes bad vibes and it opens your heart. So it really allows you to start loving in all aspects of your life. Rose quartz helps take away romantic bad memories. And I don't know about you girl or boy, but I got a few of those, so bye. If you are having any uh, trouble sleeping, especially when it comes to you thinking about your love life or maybe a past relationship that really was dawning on your soul and it left some you know emotional scars I feel like you should definitely get a piece of rose quartz and put it by your bed it's gonna help almost soothe and help you start sleeping better and getting yourself more confident to not think about those thoughts how you want to clean your crystals to make sure that they're pure is definitely get a bath um, just like a bowl and put some Himalayan salt in there and then just rinse the crystal through the water and then overnight lay them under the moon and the moon should charge them so that they can really give you the energy that you're looking for. How you can meditate with uh, rose quartz is you could do a couple things. You could shower with it and when you shower or take a bath with it, you could hold it and you kind of put your affirmations into it as far as anything that everything that I talked about, if it encompasses something within that realm, you could talk to your crystal so that it could be brought out into the universe and that so it can attract it back to you. Or you can even sit and meditate with it um, or just leave it by your bed to give that existing energy. Just make sure, like I said, charge it once a month just to keep that pure energy and to cleanse it because what's going to happen is it's going to absorb all that negativity. It's going to help you and support you. It's going to need to get a break too. It's it's a little stone. It has a heart. And the more that you take it serious, the more that it's going to take you serious. Since we're sticking with the theme and this stone is Taurus and Libra, Selenite actually is Taurus as well, representing the moon in a stone form. So that's why they also say it helps and clears the crystal energy. What Selenite is also great for is if you kind of see, it has these beautiful lines. And what it does is it creates, when you're touching them, it's going to continue to, whatever your goals and aspirations are and what you're achieving, it's going to continue to put you on that path. Clean and pure, it's almost like sage. It's just another form of cleansing. Selenite helps, this is another piece of selenite. It's a circle form. It's a spear form. Boom! Boom! Explanation point. Boom! Also, selenite comes in wands. You can get them in wands. It comes in all different types of forms. So does rose quartz. So guys, you can get this any way you want. You are loved. You are light. Don't stop. Shine and bright. Oh, that was good. T.E. who? Collection is now out. I'm finally done. Well, I'm not done painting. I'm still painting. But the collection that I've been working on very hard for the last six weeks is up and live. And it all glows in the dark. And we have a couple more projects coming. Jewelry is coming. So get ready for that energy so that you can feel it. 
and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks, Pam. Pam did a great job on my nails. We love Pam. Pam, for life. We love Pam. Oh, I love it!